It's a hot July afternoon, and the trees buzz with sounds of cicadas. It's a common summer sound, but you don't often see their makers. These big, hard-shelled insects stay high in leafy trees where they're hard to spot. Their loud-pitched calls, made to attract a mate, are tip-offs for hungry predators. Many birds and animals relish them for food. Mississippi kites put them at the top of their menu. But even so, their serenades go on. Cicadas live only a week or so in the adult stage, and during that time they must reproduce. So there's no time to waste. Most of us know cicadas only by their cast nymphal skins on trees. With the adults hiding high overhead, these empty shells handed a fascinating story that lasts up to five years underground before the insects emerge. Cicada nymphs eat tree roots, burrowing deep into the soil and passing years before coming to the surface. But their cycles are staggered so that some emergence occurs every summer. This final passage begins when darkness falls. The cicada songs fall silent at twilight. Mature nymphs, finally ready to leave burrow openings already dug in preparation, come forth for the first time since hatching from eggs and digging down years earlier. They are slow and clumsy, using darkness to mask their most vulnerable time but they have an unerring sense to climb the closest tree and fulfill their life's destiny. They climb only several inches per minute, and it may take an hour or more to reach a suitable molting position. Hooks on their large, powerful digging legs now help pull them up the tree. An hour after sunset, emergence begins. A nymph ventures from its burrow and begins a ponderous trek. Encountering a vertical surface, it climbs. Usually, this is the tree that it lived under all of its life. But it might be a fence or even a house. Movements are slow and careful. The fragile insect, soft and especially tender at this stage, uses its six legs to carefully explore the best footholds. The large hooks on its front legs help to keep it from falling. It may explore several twigs or limbs before choosing a place to emerge. It might go up. It might come back down. It needs a secure spot where all of its legs can hook solidly for the molting movements to come. And it won't stop till it finds it. Footing must be secure enough to hold it in the breeze. It chooses a place and tests and retests. Then finally, it settles down. Skin splits along the back, and the soft creature inside begins to wriggle out. It's a slow process, taking more than an hour. Movements are so slow, it seems nothing is happening at all. But the adult is gradually breaking free. 
Wing buds clear the nymphal skin and the insect's copper-based blood, blue-green instead of red like our own iron-based blood, begins to fill the veins and bump up the wings. The wings enlarge and elongate. And finally, the soft adult pulls itself completely free. Now the adult cicada hangs. Another hour passes as it dries and hardens. Wings reach full size, and now it's just a matter of time until they harden into their familiar plastic-like state. Its strength is evident as it easily holds its full weight by the front legs only. Night passes. Dawn finds the now hardened adult instinctively moving on to a secure twig, leaving the old nymphal skin behind. It may hang there for weeks to remind of a summer ritual. The cicada draws warmth from the coming day and crawls around to explore its surroundings. Later, in full sunlight, it may fly or crawl into leafy cover. It uses its sharp, pin-like mouthparts to pierce tender twigs and feed on sap. For several days, it feeds and adjusts to new life as an adult. Then the males begin to sing. This is accomplished by special plates called timbles just under the hind legs. Muscles contract up to 400 times each second to make the loud buzzing sounds. Each cicada species has a distinct song. The serenade attracts females to mate. Females use a sharp needle-like ovipositor to insert eggs into twigs. These fall to the ground where the tiny cicada nymphs burrow into grass and start the cycle again. They'll feed on tree roots for several years. And then, on a July night while most are sleeping, they'll arise again to fill the air with the sound of summer. I'm Mike Blair at the Wild Edge.